hanging out with old Blue here. He's a good old dog. And he's a big boy. Oh, jeez. No, get him away from me. Are you gonna eat an ant? Bro, look at him. Go show everybody! Oh. Go show my mom! Hey everybody, welcome to the vlog. I gotta get in the shower and shave, but first, I need to scare Betsy when she walks in the room. Just to kind of get her part pumping in the morning. And then, big plans today. The Mike Cell family is going camping for the first time ever, like legit camping, fishing. So I'll take you along, let's go. But again, first, I gotta scare Betsy. Ah! Gosh, why would you do that? Oh, no, I was just waiting for you to come no, in. You that was rude. Your heart pumping? Yeah. So Mission accomplished. You're so annoying, go away. Down, she loves it. No, I don't. I hate it. I literally hate it. Well, why do you laugh after I do it every time? Mad. That's how she shows she's mad, she laughs. Now it's time, time to start packing. The great outdoor awaits. Okay, they said that we're gonna need some camp chairs. And we might have to go to the store to get camp chairs to pretend like we're campers in front of these guys because we've gone. We wanna impress these people. These people expect a lot out of us and we need to impress them. So let's see if I have any camp chairs. I mean, we do have a massage table I could bring up, but no camp chairs. This is some of those. Oh, I should bring one of these up to scare them. That's the hot one. I should bring the ugly one. I'll ask Alyssa if I can bring one. Let me go outside and see if I can find any more. We got this one, but I need more. All right. This is interesting. Alyssa took the car last night. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I'm gonna have to go have a little chat with her. That stuff can wait. Where did you go last night? Driving. The drive-in movie? Oh, that makes me feel better, actually. Okay, you have stuff in the back of the car. My car? My car, the one you took last night. Yeah. Actually, you should probably leave those blankets in if we're gonna be sitting around a campfire. They were, they were already in there from when we went in the coffee. Oh, they were already there? Okay. Let's see, how are your eyes feeling? Mm, those glasses. But are they, did your eyes feel better? Well, I woke up today and my eyes were red, but I didn't really wear them yesterday. Mm. Look, look how red my eyes are today. Oh, yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. So I, I'm like, I really wonder if they do help. What if my eyes are addicted to the blue light glasses now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just made it worse. Oh. Okay, let's load up the car and get on the road. The fields are gonna want us there ASAP. Are you packed? I still need to pack my stuff and dinner. Okay, well, let's get going, girl. What do you want to have for dinner? I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll just text them and say, will you guys... How do you make those? Oh, those are so good. Yeah. You just put like chopped up potatoes, onions, carrots. So we need to go get all that stuff right now? No, we have it. I just oh. need to make it. Okay. All right. I'll continue to pack the car. This is the option that we're taking. You have to remember who we're going to meet. These are like bull riders and they're just like real, real good people, but they're tough. And you gotta act tough in front of them. But how am I supposed to act tough when I'm bringing church chairs for a camp out? I guess they just have to accept me for who I am. Cause that, this is what we have to bring today. Cause Betsy won't let me buy anything. I just wanted to go to the store and buy camp chairs. Cause I plan on doing a lot of camping after this adventure with them. Crazy. What happened? When I went out to get the mail, this one, this is open, so the wind came through and knocked his Chick-fil-A drink over. Where was it? And he had the lid off. It was sitting right there. Like so on the edge? Yes, and it blew over because there's. he took the lid off. Like, leave the lid on so that it doesn't... Turn off the camera. But, before I turn it off, I do want to say that sometimes that you do that with your cups. <laughs> you are so annoying, I hate you right I'm now. <laughs> I'm just letting you know because sometimes jeans get Look, passed down. Okay. But here's the difference. I leave the lid on. That's the difference. On an open cup? No, I leave the lid on. Oh, and he didn't leave the lid on. No, he had the lid. So that's where it's on. coming from. Uh-oh. 
Things aren't going as planned, you guys. Lots of drama. Imagine having your own personal dirt bike trail in your backyard or on your side yard and then you just have land for years and years and years all over here. So we got here a little bit early. They're at a baseball game. But man, we are excited to see them, aren't we, Bets? Yes. And the weather up here is what Wonderful. dreams are made of. Look at this kid going nuts. Mavericks just out there wheeling. Now you guys gotta remember, these are bull riding kids, okay? They're not city slickers like us. Look at this. So he has completely built this shop. Okay guys. Now Brock, you have to go all the way up. Brock, use your legs. Okay. Use them legs. Come on. That's what I was trying to do. I know. I'm scared. Yeah. I'm actually going to I'll give everybody here $1,000 if this kid can't do it. boy. So this is a secret room inside their house. Do you want to let us in, please? This is a cargo container turned sauna. Like, what can't you do? Literally. That is... This is amazing. <laughs> I'm moving out here, guys. It's official. Look at this. They have an airplane, too. These, these people basically have everything. They're the fields. Go follow their new YouTube channel. You're going to see dirt bikes. What else are you going to see? My Instagram. His, yep, you're going to see his Instagram. They're baseball players. Is this yours? Yeah, this is the truck I'm creating. Oh my gosh. This isn't my plan. Hey. My plan's getting a new one. Look at these guys. Dax is gonna take them all for a little spin. Wait, ask him how old he is. How old are you? Seven. 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 Hey, just so you know, this is all custom, Brock. So, one little scratch. They're easy to pick. <laughs> well, they broke it. Chad's got to fix it. Oh, I really hate to brag, but I got it going. 20 years as a mechanic, 30 seconds as a mechanic, and I got it going. Tell the story about how I fix everything at work, too. No, one time, one of our employees, her car broke down. One meaning several times. No, one time. Gentry goes, pop the hood and I'll figure it out. He literally played with the windshield wiper fluid. Oh, no, no, it was the oil thing. He pulled the oil thing. Pulled the oil out. In and out. And then he was like, give it a try. And it turned on out of pure luck. <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. Comment below if you need any tips on fixing anything. I'll try to do my best to answer. Oh, this is awesome. Living the life right now, boys. Yeah, buddy. Don't worry, guys, we're on a farm. And we're only going about 200 yards. Otherwise, we would all be in seatbelts. Trust me, if anybody's gonna wear a seatbelt, it's me, because I'm scared of everything. Country living at the finest, guys. You can tell people that like camp a lot because they'll have chairs like that. It is a little embarrassing that we have these, but hey, we're all here. And there's a this is a no judgment zone. Light that fire for us. Because you're in the fire. Well, no, but I don't he has to be careful, huh? Because he sometimes will get burned. Yeah. Okay, guys, if you want to know how to install a hammock, just DM Alyssa and she'll walk you through the whole process. We got a fire. Fire in the hole. Okay, we're getting all the firewood. Did you guys go to Kane's in Vegas? Yeah, yeah, Kane's, yeah. That's a bad situation waiting to happen. Somebody's foot at least is getting wet.
Oh, what a night. Country living at its finest, you guys. Just getting all the cars ready, ready to go. Life's good. Well, you know you had a raging party last night when a pit bull comes out of nowhere and it's just the happiest dog in the world to see you. Good dog. Just hanging out with old Blue here. Blue. He's a good old dog. <laughs> He's actually been shot in the back of the neck. He has a cool life story. Long, he has a, a long story of being shot and then being reunited with the Field family. It's a wonderful, wonderful story. Yeah, we're gonna come. We'll meet you over there. All right, now we're going to the biggest barn in Utah. Let's see how this, see what it looks like inside an actual barn. All right, you kind of get your pick. You can pretty much ride any horse you want. So there's gonna be a horse for everybody in the family. Except for me, I like to keep my two feet on the ground. Dax, tell me about this steer. He almost, what, what yeah, he, did he bite him? No, I went Is he a biter? And he's a yeah, big boy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I kind of get the feeling this could be my life because I'm really good with animals. But this animal, I'm probably gonna kind of steer away from. No, get him away from me. I'm not petting that thing. It's too scary. Whoa, it did buck. She's going bareback. I love that you just throw her on. <laughs> okay, watch out, because these horses kick. This is Betsy's dream. Get that heifer away from me. That's a good steer right there, guys. I can tell. That's going to win the 4-H challenge right there. A lot of love to these animals on this place. Liz, how was it? It was fun. Okay, we'll go, we'll put saddles on. Yeah, saddle this dog up. Horse up. Blue, come here. Call me a bluebird. Ooh, can you imagine this dog running at you if you didn't know it? Bullet went right there. Wait, wait, wait. right, yeah. right there. That's where the bullet was. Crazy story. He's a survivor, that's for sure. Oh, what a majestic creature. This is called the tack barn, right? Yeah, the tack room. Tack room. And then you guys even have a shower. Yep. We've, you got the whole nine here. We pretty much wash them every time we ride. These, these horses get babied. All right, so Betsy has officially decided to join us. <laughs> Betsy, you can't yell. The horses don't like yelling. Yeah, you have to relax. No, oh, you're doing fine. It's so funny how much she, you would never think in a million years, Betsy would love horses. And this is her passion. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, get out the barrels right now. I think she's ready. Get out the barrels. All right, I thought I only had one cowgirl in the family and apparently I have two. A little southpaw action. Atta boy. Hey boss, let's see what you got. If you get it first try. There you go, Brock. Let it rip. Ooh. Boston's getting into the cowboy spirit. This is the craziest. Yes. This is this is a little teeny tiny house for kids. If you're ever in Bluebell, Utah, you want to hit this joint, America. They don't do gas anymore, but boy, do they have good burgers and great ice cream. 
They literally do. Well, out here, there's no roads. You can just drive wherever you want, and it's just on grass. This is actually a football field that we're driving on, but um, you can do that out here in the country. Boston, you went on that one. Boston, come over here and do it over here. What part of that thought that was a good idea? No, Boston, Boston, don't do it on the little pole. You have, you can't hold yourself up. Boston, I'm not even kidding. That's a dumb way to do it. Boston, come back over. Boston. Well, I do a different technique. I go like this, and I go all the way up to the top. Okay. And then like this, and then I jump. Good job. Are you going to eat an ant? Why? Because you know what it did? It bit you on your tongue. I'll eat it, Open. I just wanted to bite you. I'm a, I'm just, just let me throw it in so uh, it doesn't get away. Get it right down the throat. Throw, open your mouth. <laughs> Did it liar. bite you? Yeah. You're a liar. They don't bite. I thought it died, but it actually didn't. Oh, you good. Let me see where it bit you. Oh, that <gasps> is. See, I don't get hurt. Did it bite you? No. It yeah, kind of did. No, it didn't. Because you kind of no, pick up. Oh, okay. Oh, the red ants. They sting. Oh my gosh! That thing is huge! Bro, look at him. That's just a blow snake. Who are you, freaking Steve Irwin? Put the snake down. You wanna hold it? Heck no. Yeah, he's gonna bite me! It's not gonna bite me, it's a blow snake. I'm allergic to snakes. You are? Well, I assume I am. I'm like, what the heck is it? <laughs> oh, you I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna go show everybody. Oh. Go show my mom. Come here, ma'am. Maverick, he told me that. Yeah. Yo. She, he won't. Here, let me see. Whoa. It's a huge one. Wait, I'm gonna get it. They want to see it. It's bigger. Four times bigger? Yeah, that's not really. Here, let me see him, bro. Hey, wait. <laughs> we took off running. I didn't even think it was a snake. <laughs> there you go. Go quick. Just don't think about it. Run and jump over this. <laughs> Under. <laughs> jump. There you go. Uh, <laughs> the waterfall of doom. Wow. That is really cool. You made it. We are rock climbing now in Roosevelt. Okay, boss, you got this? Them sneaks aren't really... The cow? What? Did you say what about the cow? Actually, what I want to do, I want everybody to get up there because I want to take a picture of you guys. Like, I have, it's like perfect lighting. Was that a beaver that did that? Uh, that's beaver. Beaver, yeah. They like, they work in tin nowadays, not just wood. Is it cold? No. We are headed home. Are you still sad? Yeah, their kids are the best. Was it not so I had the fun? Best time. Like, I know. Meeting them too, like, was just so fun. It's just so like different. Like, I love it here. Yeah. I know. They are some of the most genuine, nice people that would do anything for anyone. They're super fun. And one of my favorite things about them is that they're just real people. Like sometimes I'm gonna turn the air conditioning because I feel like it's a little loud. Sometimes people try to like play off that they're really cool or that they try to act different than they are. Chad and Jasmine and their kids, cool no, people. they really are, they they don't care if they do something dumb, they'll just laugh at themselves. They, are, I truly was laughing so hard this weekend, were you not just dead? like, yeah. everything, like, every time I turned around, I was like, bent over, rolling, laughing. So, I love it here in Roseville, we're gonna come back for sure. And obviously they loved us. <laughs> but you know what, like, the horse riding too, was my favorite thing. 
I love riding horses so much and their horses are unbelievable. Like it was so fun.